Yeah, hi there. These comments are for, I'm just going to use your initials, uh, M. And you sent me a, an email, I think, yesterday. So let's take a look at your situation. You say, thank you to provide students with... I'm going to change this to say, thank you for providing students with the possibility to study through your website with reasonable costs from today. I will utilize your service for 100% of my time because before I was working and I used your service occasionally, I took the TOEFL IBT test two weeks ago and I received my score of 84, but my goal is to obtain 100. Can you suggest me a specific plan in order to enhance all my areas with a particular attention to the reading part? Do you have some specific newspapers and magazines to recommend? Do you think that using both your service and study abroad in an English school would benefit my scores? Uh, I'm going to say yes. It will. It definitely will. If you're really doing three things, you're using my course, you're studying abroad, and then you're also doing some things outside of your class time and outside of my website, I think, to improve. So the first part of the video, let's talk about improving reading first, right? And then I'll give you some other recommendations. It's pretty simple, really. To improve reading, you have to read extensively for about 45 minutes daily. That's the first thing you want to do. So you wanted some suggestions. I, I hate to suggest specific reading materials. You should read areas that you have an interest in. But if you want a newspaper, I'll say the Wall, the Wall Street Journal, maybe, and I'll say the New York Times newspapers. So I would say both of those. Those would probably be helpful to you. Now, in addition to that, you can read longer books, books that you have an interest in, even magazines, things of that nature. Magazines, you might look at People Magazine, for example, for pop culture type things. You could get a magazine like Newsweek or maybe even Times Magazine to help give you more exposure to the language, but you should be reading every day. This is important. Now, number two, you need to improve your vocabulary. So that's also important. Number three, you need to increase your reading speed to 300 words per minute or higher. That's going to be good. Number four, become familiar with the reading question types and the strategies for answering those kinds of questions. And number five is to complete TOEFL level reading practice tests. Now these are really it. This is it. This is your reading plan right here. It's actually pretty simple. Now my recommendation here is most of your reading practice should focus on steps one through three. You're practicing reading on a daily basis, you're improving your vocabulary, you're increasing your reading speed. So with the vocabulary, you want to focus on uh, my vocabulary lesson number three, four, five, and six. If you can learn the words in those specific lessons, that's going to give you a, a range of vocabulary to almost 1,700 vocabulary words. Now also, I think improving your reading speed, you can do that also at my website. I have speed reading practice tests that will take you from 100 to over 350 words per minute. And believe it or not, faster readers have better comprehension than slower readers, so you definitely can make some improvements, I think, by doing that. And then maybe, as you feel like you're really good, maybe, in the first three areas I recommended here for improving reading, then you can get into becoming more familiar with the reading question types and the strategies for answering them. Again, you can go to the reading part of my course, and you can complete 
uh, those types of lessons. Now, number five, uh, I have an outside company that I've contracted with to give you access to TOEFL level reading practice tests and also full length IBT practice tests that are over five hours long. So once you, if you want to go to the eighth section of my course, you can learn more about my my uh, practice test that you can complete. So that's pretty much what you want to do there. Is it a now to go back to your question, do you think that using both yours? No, the, the other question is you, you want a a study plan to help you enhance all your areas. So you want to also improve your pronunciation, grammar, your listening, writing, and speaking areas as well, right? Because let's face it here, you got 18 in the reading, 22 in the listening, 24 speaking, and 20 points in the writing. So you want to improve all those areas until you're approximately 25 to 26 points in those in each of those sections. So my last recommendation here, let's just call it number six, is I'll recommend my 90-day TOEFL study guide that would definitely give you uh, some practice, long-term practice and exposure to English to help you begin improving your academic English language proficiency. And there we have it. This is my response to your question. So you can review these again. I've basically given you six things that you can do over the next 90 days to begin improving your academic English language proficiency. So that's kind of what I want you to do. All right, thank you.